What's shaking? Y'all know I'm baking. Calzax back on the mic once again, and we got another Escape from Tarkov guide for you guys today. It's another edition of our underrated barter series. Uh, our barters they don't want you to know about series. This one's even more barters they don't want you to know about. Now today's video is going to be aimed a little bit more towards the advanced Tarkov players. Our last ones uh, were kind of in the middle, maybe a little bit more towards the beginning, uh, depending on the item that we were talking about. Today we're going to be focusing on those higher end, higher level barters. Uh, even if even if you're not there, don't worry. You're gonna get there if you keep playing the game. Uh, these are worth putting on your map so you know what's worth it, what's not. And even again, if you, if you never even think you're gonna make it to that level, uh, you can at least know what barter items are involved because all of these items are going to be expensive barter items, so you know to look out for them in raid. Anyway. With that in mind, guys, I just want to remind you, uh, we stream on YouTube and on Twitch very often. Please come check that out. Links are in the description. We'd love to have you there. Uh, many of our other videos now are stream videos, and as you can see, there's things on screen, people talking. That's all from the Twitch chat. Uh, so please go over there if you'd like to get involved with something like that, and just talk to me in general. The other thing I do want to mention is our Discord is really starting to blow up. It's getting a lot bigger. Our community is growing. And uh, we have a lot of Escape from Tarkov players in there. If you would like to play with some of us, learn from others, and or just help other people play, have a good time, enjoy people's company, please jump in that Discord. Feel free. We play other games as well. We have all kinds of voice channels. Please hop in, join the community. We'd love to have you. And lastly, I'll go ahead and show you. It's going to take five seconds. Please subscribe and turn on those notifications. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one one that's it now that's it without further ado we're gonna hop right into this all right we're gonna start with ragman loyalty level four uh so at this loyalty level you're gonna have to be level level 40. now that you're at level 40 you've got ragman level four i'm sure you're ready to start really cashing in on those class six armors let's talk about some of the trades for those that you should look out for the first one is going to be the zook 6a heavy armor for uh, three vases and three teapots. This is probably the cheapest of all of the uh, class six armors you'll have available to you. Uh, I really like it because it allows you to stay mobile. Um, its only issue is it is made of ceramic, so its repairability is very bad. But with this barter, uh, this turns out to usually be in the range of 300,000 rubles at this current moment in the wipe. Uh, make sure to check it out. This is probably your go-to class six armor on a budget. Next, I'd like to show you the 6B43 Zebralo. Uh, there are three different options for this. In my opinion, this is the most worthwhile trade for it. Um, you're gonna have a Moonshine and five Vodka. If you're making the Moonshines in-house in your own hideout, even better. Uh, this makes it just a little bit even cheaper uh, to get this. Depending on prices of Vodka, this can be fairly cheap, even close to the, the Zook armor uh, trade. But it also can run expensive, depending on, again, the Moonshine, things like that. So you're looking in the ballpark of usually 350,000, maybe more, uh, to get this armor. But it is cheaper than it is on the flea market. You get a full size one. This one is made of combined materials, so it does repair better than the ceramic. All right. Lastly, for the class six armors, the end all be all. This is your slick armor uh, plate. It's going to cost you three high com troopers and six cordura. This is the meta uh, class six armor. The most mobility of of them all for the most part and also made of armor steel very repairable but also comes at the highest price high comm troopers are usually running at right now you can get them for about 60k a piece so this is looking at about 180 cordura usually running about 60 70k you need six of it so that that adds up that's about 300k ish maybe more so you're looking at you know 400 plus k 450 plus uh, k rubles to get a hold of this but it's still cheaper and you get a full uh, full size one. Sometimes you can find good deals on these two items too, and then it's really worth it. So keep your eyes peeled. This is something you need to know about at this level of Ragman. Next, I'd just like to point out the Attack 2. You can get at a solid price of 57,000 rubles at this current time. Uh, this is also a great deal. In my opinion, uh, this is how I feel about backpacks. You are kind of limited with how much loot you can take in a raid by your backpack so backpacks are one of the best things to spend money on because it limits your returns in the raid at 57,000 this is only about 17,000 more than the tri-zip and considerably bigger uh, so I'd recommend really looking into these this is a lot cheaper than you can get it on the flea market even uh, take advantage of this get a lot of loot and if you die with the attack twos that's fine 
because you're giving yourself an opportunity to take back a lot more loot with it. Okay, next up, I'd like to point out the TAC Tech Plate Carrier. This is a very important trade available at Laragman Level 4. There are actually three trades available for it. Now, as you can see, they're all fairly different. It really can depend on the economy, so please do check them all out. Uh, but the main one today that I want to highlight for you guys is this one here. It is one vase and 10 chainlets for a TAC Tech Plate Carrier. This thing is a Level 5 Thorax uh, Tactical Rig. Let me show you guys. This is what it looks like on the inside. So quite big, uh, ultra high weight polyethylene, uh, should repair fine. Uh, definitely something to look out for. Uh, the only class five tactical rig that you can really get a hold of that I'm aware of uh, at this stage. And so if you're going on a map like reserve or something, this is exactly the kind of thing that you're looking for uh, because you wanna be able to go out through the uh, through the dome extract uh, with your paracord and your red rebel, but you can't have actual body armor on for that. I believe the tactical rig uh, evades that problem. So check that out. Okay, the next one I wanna show you is Peacekeeper level four. Uh, you do actually have to unlock this from a quest. I believe it's uh, wet job part one. Check that it is wet job part two actually that you unlock this, uh, but this is a great mag available for a, just a filter much more expensive uh, if you look on the flea for this thing uh, and it's again just a filter you can also take a gas mask plug it into your lavatory and get a filter out uh, so just see which one's cheaper on the flea or if you find one in raid that's an option to you this is a great way to get a 60 round mag uh, if you don't like losing these two i recommend throwing it into your alpha container your gamma container uh, your cap or whatever you have uh, reloading them in there just so you, you only lose one at a time if you have multiple of them uh, but that's a side note. This is just a really solid trade. Highly recommended, guys. And this is another one as well. If you don't want the other one, it does cost two circuit boards, which at the current moment for me is costing actually more than the filters. So just depending on what the market looks like, come check this one out as well. This one could be another good option for you. They're both the 60 rounders. So essentially, you'll get the same ammo holding. They just might be a little bit different in their uh, attributes. Okay, the next one is a mechanic loyalty level four trade. Uh, this one here is the Power Mag 20 for four pliers. It's definitely cheaper than getting this one on the flea. I love plugging these in my Saigas, uh, and you could use AP20 or Flechetti is what I'd recommend with it. Absolutely a monster if you plug this thing in. Uh, it does get expensive, a little bit more than the uh, the, the P Mags from Peacekeeper uh, with the filters but the pliers really do make this thing cheaper. Again, you can keep it in your secure container if you want to spare, uh, but definitely recommend checking this one out. Okay, the next one I recommend you really check out is this AK-74M Zenit Co. Uh, it's available for six cigarettes and a military cable, which is actually a super solid price. These cigarettes basically are, are nothing. They're super cheap. The military cable is running about 40K right now, so it's a dirt cheap gun. Uh, but essentially it's an AK-74 that comes with a stock of 67 vert recoil and as you can see it doesn't even have a foregrip so you can just toss a foregrip on right there and then you've got a solid uh, AK-74 to start out with even less than 67 you might be able to get it down to the 50s uh, which is going to be awesome for an AK-74 uh, you can also throw a laser on there this, this hand guard allows you to do that uh, you've also got the space for a red dot, holographic, anything you want. you got the charge handle. This is just a super solid AK-74M. It's already built for you. Super easy trade. Uh, cheap gun. Basically all you could want from this weapon. So please check this one out. This one is legitimately so underrated, guys. Okay, this one was just actually added to the game in, uh, as a patch 12.8. I want to talk more about it. This one's available from Pratt Bar. Uh, and... It's the BNTI Corone VM Armor. This is a class five armor. Right now selling at 99,000. It was originally starting at like 90K. It's going up just a little bit, but this is basically the cheapest class five armor you can get a hold of. Uh, it also repairs so well, so, so well. So in my opinion, it's better than the Gazelle for that purpose because the Gazelle just doesn't repair as well as this thing does. And it runs a little bit more expensive. Now this one might give you a little less mobility, but this has really become the meta five armor meta class 5 armor that is and allowed those uh you know newer players and lower level players to be able to play up to the higher chad levels with having uh this armor class at a at a reasonable price uh definitely check this out if you need a class 5 armor to run um 
the jump from class three to class four is nowhere near as significant as it is from four to five okay uh so if you're gonna spend the extra money at this point by class four you're you're uh you're getting close to spending this much anyway most likely unless you you really get that uh that armored rig we talked about in the past um so if you're gonna spend this kind of money anyway you might as well bump up to the five it's a big difference check it out guys okay next up is the 6sh118 uh, it's the couch backpack uh, this one's available from prat bar for the military cables two of them and again these run about 40k a pop maybe a little bit higher but for this is a massive bag uh, so for the size of it definitely worth it uh, again you are kind of limited by your returns and array by how much uh, loot you can take out so if you have this backpack you're really uh, ensuring you're gonna be able to have a lot of space for loot uh, take advantage of it it is really big so you're gonna be pretty visible with it on know that uh, also you might want to consider like bringing a mule stem uh, in your container or something like that uh, because that if, if you fill up the backpack with a lot of loot and you've got some armor and weapons it, you're gonna be very very heavy uh, so a mule stem will help you get out of the raid quickly um, and they're pretty expensive so I wouldn't recommend just throwing it on your person I would probably keep it in that container uh, so it's secure but just uh, uh, something to keep in mind guys okay next is the RPK available from Prat Bar uh, this one here is also just like that uh, AK-74 I showed you before at 67 vert recoil with an available hand uh, foregrip slot. So definitely very similar to that AK-74 trade. You could really go with either one that you like. They shoot the same rounds. Uh, this one, of course, is an LMG. A little bit different style gun, uh, but essentially the same idea. And again, if you toss that foregrip on, you're going to be able to get it down maybe into the 50s or something. So super low recoil gun. Again, this is the Kila gun, uh, the, the primary Kila gun that he uses. Uh, pretty nice if you put a drum mag or something in it. It's got a lot of uh, firepower. Um, very solid gun overall. Great, great price, 66K. Check it out. You at, at certain points too, you might honestly be able to find this on the flea for even cheaper. It just depends. So just, just make sure you're checking it out. Just a solid gun overall because remember, uh, remember the vert recoil is looking super solid the horizontal recoil is definitely up there a little bit but um, you know that's just so low all right guys that's going to do it for this video today even more barters that they don't want you to know about these barters are gonna help you succeed help you survive in this game let me know in the comments uh, if these help you out let me know what other barters you think are really useful uh, because we can of course include them in future videos with the shout out and things like that so please let us know let us know what you think we would love to see you on stream uh it would really mean a lot to us and we hope that we can uh yeah you can skip that um lastly don't forget we have the discord and all the social media links in the description uh please check those out and until next time guys love your faces we'll see you then